Hey there. So um, some people have asked how I handle peer review in my labs and um, the way you set this up in Blackboard has changed, at least since the last time I did it. So I thought I would just make a real quick video. So first off, um, I go to assessments, self and peer assessment. And then I'll just name it something. And I have to, with as much clarity as I can manage, indicate all of the different due dates. This is going to be a confusing thing to students. I even made a video walking them through, you know, each part of how this works. The submission happens in a certain window of time, and then they can no longer submit their rough draft. So that's during the evaluation period. And these dates aren't flexible, so it's one of the few cases where you can't adjust due dates um, at all. You have to make a whole new uh, assignment if you mess them up. Uh, so in this case, I want them to be able to submit the rough draft before 929. So what I'll do is this is the date right now. So I'm just going to leave that as the start date for the submission. The end date is going to be 929 at 8 a.m. So that means people have to get their um, rough draft submitted by that time. Okay, and I want them to begin their peer review immediately after that. So I put in just 9 a.m. Same date though. Okay, and then I want them to be finished with their peer review by the 3rd of October. So I'll put that in as the evaluation end date. Um, 3 p.m. I do that so I don't like the middle of the night submissions because then you get middle of the night emails with panic and questions and I don't like it. If you do not want individuals to be assigned their own work to evaluate, click no. In this case it doesn't make sense. I do like self-evaluation but for the purposes of this introduction I don't want them to do that. I like to have at least two people evaluate so at least that way if one person has not participated of course, they don't get points if they don't participate, but if they don't participate, then the author gets at least some feedback. And it will randomly assign peer evaluations. You can also make it completely anonymous if you warn students not to put their name on the actual document. Um, and I think that helps with equity. Um, so anyway, hope that's helpful.